Hello everyone, today's video is going to be about mycoplasma, upper respiratory infections, and lower respiratory infections in your pet rats. So, let's begin! All rats are born with mycoplasma. It is passed on from mother to offspring through the birthing process. Mycoplasma can result in upper respiratory infections, which affects the sinuses, nasal passages, pharynx, and larynx, shown in pink. It can also cause lower respiratory infections, which affect the airways, lungs, including the bronchus and bronchiole, shown in green. Respiratory infections are the number one killer in rats, believe it or not. As a rat owner, you need to understand that mycoplasma will not hurt a healthy rat, and in fact, may never rear its ugly head if a rat remains healthy throughout its life. It is only when myco flares up and manifests itself as a respiratory infection that will hurt and even kill your rats. Prevention of flare-ups. Avoid stress. A rat will almost immediately begin showing symptoms if stressed. This can include exposure to pain, crowded living conditions, unsuitable living companions, and hi hidden illnesses. On rare occasions, some rats will be especially sensitive to loud noises, the pre presence of a dog or a cat, or other particular triggers. Avoid pine or cedar or other softwood bedding. It's as simple as that. The phenols released by softwood combined with ammonia present in rats' urine create a toxic fume that will directly trigger flare-ups. Symptoms The symptoms are red discharge around the eyes and nose, puffy, fluffy fur, squinted eyes, hunched spine when sitting or standing still, fast or shallow breathing, any kind of snorting, squawking, wheezing, sneezing, or whistling sound, any wheezing or cracking sounds in the chest when you hold your rat's belly against your ear, lethargy, loss of appetite, and any sudden change in behavior can all be signs of an upper respiratory or lower respiratory infection caused by a flare-up. If left untreated, the flare-up will progress into an upper respiratory infection, a lower respiratory infection, pneumonia, chronic respiratory disease, and even death. Treatment. Please consult your exotic vet be before trying any of this treatment. In milder cases, dark chocolate can be temporary treatment until you get to the vet. Oral antibiotics are almost always effective. As the condition is allowed to progress, other methods of treatment such as steroids may be needed. For a quick at-home treatment, I suggest antibiotics. I use amoxicillin. My dosage per rat is 7.5 cc's of whatever flavor. I use plain yogurt because antibiotics destroy gut flora and yogurt helps restore it. Then I use 250 milligrams of amoxy capsules and mix it up really well because it doesn't dissolve. And I only give 0.3 cc's of the mixture every 12 hours for 2 weeks. You can also check my old video on antibiotics for rats right here. I'll be updating this video in the near future, so be sure to check that out. And that concludes this video. If you liked the video, please subscribe, please like, and please comment. And I will see you next time. Bye!